Hey you guys, it's the beginning of May, which means we have our April favorites ready for you. These are the things that we have been loving in the month of April. Um, for me, one of them is sewing related and one of them is sort of just like a helpful little trinket for while you're sewing. And Abby's got a sewing related item and then just a fun sewing themed item. So let's get right into it. I will start, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I will start. Um, so I have um, been trying to find an easy, um, foolproof way to attach snaps. Um, I made the seamwork dress, what's it called? With the buttons down the front. A Adelaide. Adeline. Adelaide. 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 Yeah. Um, and it has buttons all the way down the front and I thought it would be really cute to do pearl snaps down the front. Um, also, um, you've probably seen a lot of skirts have snaps these days. Um, they're not just for baby onesies anymore. Um, but unfortunately, I've had a really tough time finding the, a tool that will set them perfectly without any errors until now. <laughs> um, I finally came across, and it's the most, the inex most inexpensive, the least expensive option that's out there. Um, it's by Dritz, and it's just a little metal washer and then a little dowel. And you put one end of the snap in the flat end and hammer it down, and then you put the other end of the snap in the like beveled edge and you hammer it down, and it worked perfectly every single time. You use an actual hammer? Yes, mm -hmm. you use an actual hammer to hammer it down. Okay. Um, and I feel like it really... It was easy to um, get the snap exactly where you wanted it mm -hmm. and it stayed once you put it there and then the snap actually held after snapping it. You can see my test, <laughs> my test run of this did not go well at all. Um, I had been trying to use a tool like this, the pliers, but what I didn't realize is I was using a snap that was too big for this particular set of pliers, which is why it wasn't working. When I got the right size of snaps for this, this what this one is here, it worked perfectly. So I realized I couldn't use the pliers, um, and that's when I went out and found the other set. I will say, if you're doing a lot of snaps, this tool is really helpful and I can see why people would like it over the hammer method. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's quieter. <laughs> so yeah. if you have babies in the house, you don't want to be hammering things. Um, but secondly, um, you do have a little bit more control over actually pressing the snap. Um, so if you're going to be doing a lot of snaps, I would recommend getting uh, the plier set. But if you're just doing a couple here and there for a garment, mm -hmm. go out and get this. I want to say at the Joann's that I got it at, it might have been $7. And it included the snaps with it. So nice. it's really affordable and it's a foolproof way to get snaps onto all of your garments. Would you say it's easier than buttons? Well, yeah, in a way. I mean, it's... More than anything, it's just a different look that yeah. you're going to get. Um, but I have uh, I'm still sewing on my very first sewing machine, and the buttonhole maker isn't always great. Mm -hmm. So for me, buttons really make me nervous. Yeah. But I think if I had a nicer machine, stay tuned for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I know. I have a nice machine and I just finished a dress yesterday with buttons all the way down the front and they still, every buttonhole it's like holding my breath like, is it going to be perfect? Am I going to have to rip it out? It, it, yeah. I don't know. I'll always be scared of buttonholes. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I mean, I think it depends on the fabric. I was trying to get the snaps onto a corduroy skirt yeah. and that's a, see, I just <laughs> lost the snap right there. It just <laughs> fell right off completely. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, it just depends on the look you're going for and obviously consider the kind of fabric that you're using. All, All right. right, so my first thing here is elastic by the yard. Um, I was buying just those little packages of drips you can buy at Joann's and you know it's like three yards for around four bucks and then I was finding I have these silly amounts left over. I like to make a lot of the Hudson sweatpants. Um, I make them for myself and for my mom, elastic shorts, yeah. elastic waist skirts. So I actually use them a lot and felt like I was spending so much money on elastic. So I went on Amazon and they have it by the yard for so cheap. This is quarter inch elastic um, for 144 yards. I believe 
quarter inch is what goes into the soft spring dress, which I've made so many of. Um, $12, 144 yards, and you just can't beat the price. And, and I just, the quality is good. Yeah, the quality is great. I've compared, um, the quality is good. I really, really like this. It saved me a lot of money. And then I also have the two, um, two inch width, which goes into the Hudson pants. So I've used quite a bit of this already. I did have one inch, which I've already used all of that up. Um, I used to make a lot of baby clothes and sell them. So, you know, baby clothes use a lot of elastic. So if you have little girls at the house, I highly recommend going ahead and getting it on a roll. You will save so much money and not waste silly amounts of elastic left over, which I save for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. I'll probably never use them. Have you seen the invisible zippers that are sold like that? No. We'll save that for next month's Did video. Have I have some, yeah. Five, okay. Yeah. Oh. We'll see. <laughs> For May's favorites, I will, I will use up some of those zippers and show you all exactly how they work. Okay, so my next item is actually um, a piece of jewelry. And if you're like me and you have long hair, as we do, um, you find yourself starting the day with your hair down mm -hmm. and then maybe and after an hour in Charleston <laughs> and it's really humid. <laughs> yeah, you're just ready to put your hair up. Same thing whenever you're sewing, like you just, you need to have an elastic by you at all times. So a lot of people wear them on their wrists and newer elastics can dig in mm -hmm. and it's really not all that healthy for you. Right, yeah. So there was a husband who noticed that his wife was always wearing elastics and how it was leading the indentions on her hand, but that she needed to have that elastic on her wrist, not in her purse, not anywhere else, but on her wrist. So he invented this bracelet and the bracelet is just a metal bangle that has a little ridge in the center of it that holds your hair elastic. And it holds it away from your skin. The bangle is what holds it in place. And so you are able to still have your elastic on your wrist, but it's not hurting you in any way. And it's kind of like a decorative element. If you had different color elastics, mm -hmm. you could interchange them and yeah. have them match your match outfit. Your outfit. So nice. this for me is really handy when I'm sewing, but also just in like all the time <laughs> whenever I just need to have an elastic candy. Um, I found myself um, just really loving this. So Beautiful. love it, wanted to share. Yes, so I have this really cool bag. I found that is a sewing machine. So um, I really like these bags. I've seen them before. They're out of some kind of recycled material, um, but it's a sewing machine and this is the front. It's even got the side of the sewing machine, the other side and the back. You can see there's a, a little knob and even the bottom. Um, so I really like the shape of this bag. It's super boxy and sturdy um, and it's got these great handles. Um, so it's really practical, but also super cute. Of course, you know, I love sewing, obviously. So anytime I see something sewing related, I just get super excited. And it's also teal, which is one of my favorite colors. So it's just really, really cute. It is super cute. I love this bag. Where'd you get it? Um, I got it locally, but you can find it online through the company. It's Blue Q. I went on there, um, bluecue.com. It's only 15 bucks. And um, they had all kinds of different designs. So lots of great options. I think it also would make a really nice little gift. You could fill it up with some cute sewing stuff for you know somebody's birthday coming up or even Mother's Day. Somebody that loves to sew. So, so the other designs they have non-sewing yes, machine designs. Yes, they had all kinds of different designs. Really cool stuff on there. So yeah, the zipper yeah. is like really yeah, really nice heavy zipper. Well, I it's love kind that of it zips like, up. Most of these tote kind of bags don't have zippers, so it's really nice that this one zips up. Or if they do, it doesn't have like the. Um, it does zip easily. <laughs> um, yeah. It doesn't have like the box top. Yeah. You know, like it'll zip closed mm -hmm. like that, yeah. which is annoying. This has nice wide openings. Yeah. Cute. I'm going to get one for yeah. sure. Do they oh, have other colors top. of sewing machines? No, but this one's perfect mm -hmm. color. We'll be twins then. Yeah. Perfectly fine. Wouldn't be the first time. No. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it for some things we've been loving in April. I hope you guys um, love some of the things we are loving too. If yeah. you do, we'll have we'll the link um, it below. Yeah, we'll have all Definitely the link it below links. so you can find everything. Um, so I hope you liked the video. Of course, give us a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a video. And we're on all the social media. You can find us on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Facebook. Did you say? I said Facebook. 
There's four. I didn't even know about the Twitter. Four She's plus YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm the only one still rallying for the Twitter. So if y'all love Twitter, please yeah. go follow us so that it's not for nothing. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye. Thanks.